So now we're starting part two of the week three tutorial for Web Publishing One, Spring 2012. And just to recap, uh, what we did last time in the, in the first part of the tutorial was to add some comments to clarify what we're doing with the divs in this page. And we also set up a new div called nav. And within that, there's our div. Within that, we created a UL, an unordered list, and it's three items in it, which are actually going to be links to the home page, which is a file named index.html, the about page, a file named about.html, and the contact page, a file named contact.html. And it looks like this, so we're ready to go. So let's now do what we need to do to make our single web page, which is what we have now, into a little mini site. This is different from the process the book follows. So if you follow along in the book, uh, you'll see they've done it a little bit different way. I think that my method is a little more efficient and works a little better, but either way will work fine. So if you prefer doing it the way they have it in the book, go right ahead. Um, on the other hand, we've already jumped ahead in the book to put in the nav list, which they haven't done um, in the very beginning. So we did that first. All right, so we've got our page with the nav list already in place. I'm going to go to File, Save As. Save it into my Week 3 folder, and I hope you have a Week 3 folder as well. And I'm going to call it About. So now I've got <clears throat> a page called About.html, and here's where we can use Text Wrangler's little slide-out tray there it is, you can see that, and I'm going to take that about page, which at this point is identical to the index page, except for the name of the file. I'm going to save it again. This time I'm going to save it as contact. Save. And we now have three files, but unfortunately only the most recent one is open. So I'm going to have to go back up here to File, Open Recent, and I want to open the About, and I also want to go back and Open Recent and open my Index. So I have all three of them. All right, so they're all three. And as I click between them, you'll notice that they're identical, except for the file name. All right, so we have to make a couple of changes. One of the important changes is we need to change the title. Uh, the title is important, so right here is where the title appears, or appears, the, you can see the full title, Diving Club for the Southwest UK. And that's very important for search purposes. So right now, the, on the index page, bubble under the Diving Club for the Southwest UK, that's fine. Uh, your title is going to be different because it's going to have your name in it and so on, maybe refer to the class and the semester. Uh, but I'm, I'll be working with their titles just to stay uh, consistent with the book. The About page. I'm going to change that to Bubble Under the Diving. I'm going to add the words, or the word About Bubble Under the Diving Club for the Southwest UK. So now our title fits the page. The page is the about page. The title says that. Now on this page, all we need is the about information. So if we go down here into the body content, we don't need welcome to our super duper scuba site. We need about us. So I'm going to delete that. And we don't need the contact information because that's going to have its own page. So I'm going to delete that whole div. And then there's a footer, which uh, at the moment I haven't put any content in it, but you have on yours. And so now we have the site branding, we have the navigation, and we have the About Us. So let me just save it. So now here's what our About page looks like. Oops. Uh, oh, no, I guess I have to open it first. So let me take that About page and open it in the browser. There we go. That's more like it. So you see we don't have the artwork anymore because that was on the home page. We do have the navigation. We have the About Us. 
Um, now while we're at it we're going to make one other change in the about page which right now bubble under is an h1 and then the next h tag we have is an h3 so that doesn't really make sense an h1 is the most important then there should be a second most important so what we're going to do is we're going to give the h3 a promotion we're going to make it an h2 and just save it and it gets a little bigger because that's the default behavior but the important thing is that logically this now makes sense so uh, this is the most important information this is the second most important information so we don't want to jump from h1 to h3 alright so that's the about page and now we're going to do a similar thing on the contact page which I would assume you probably can figure this out we're going to change the title to add the word contact bubble under because this is the contact page we're going to go down into the content and we're going to get rid of the welcome because that belongs on the home page um, and we're going to get rid of the about us because that belongs on the about page and so on the contact page the only thing we're going to have is the contact information and the footer of course and as we remember from last time we have the H1 which is bubble under and then we go to contact we're going to promote that from an H3 to an H2 because we deleted the H2 uh, which was that welcome I'm going to save that contact let me drag that over to the browser and now there's our contact page okay now here's the test do our links work well let's try the home link boom now we're on the home page which has got the welcome and oh you know what we need to fix our home page because we're getting rid of about us and contact us okay let's make that change go back to the index page and on the index page we want site branding we want welcome to our super duba scuba site but we do not want about us because that's got its own page and we do not want contact us because that's got its own page all right, so let's get rid of that. I'm going to delete that. So body content, end of body content footer. Okay, let's save that. And now let's look at our home page. Ah, better. Okay. Home page, about page, contact page. Back to home. from the about page we can also go to the contact page come on very slow I don't know why contact page back to the about page back to the home page okay we have a mini site um, so this is actually a pretty big step even though it was fairly simple and didn't take too long we now have a working mini website and every site on the web is pretty much what we've just done um, but obviously can get much more complicated so the things that we did um, we deleted the content that wasn't necessary we changed the page title to match what's on the page so the about page the title has about bubble under contact page title has contact bubble under and we um, deleted from the home page the extra material that we didn't really need so now we're now on page 68 and what we're going to do is a new tag and it's called block quote and they're suggesting that you put it on the about page which makes good sense to me so what I'm going to suggest you do is here where they put it okay I'm going to suggest that you find a quote about the web uh, said by the guy who really is the genius behind the web and his name is Tim Berners-Lee just for a minute I forgot it so let me show you what I'm going to ask you to do which is search for Tim Berners-Lee um, and you'll find a ton of stuff about him. He's still alive. 
and he really came up with most of the ideas for what we now know as the World Wide Web. Here's a great speech um, that he did that's on the TED website. So come up with a short quote uh, that Tim Berners-Lee said and we're going to put that into the about page. What could be better than having a quote from Tim Berners-Lee? Um, and so pretend this isn't about diving unfortunately it is but yours your website is not about diving it's about the web and we're going to put in a new paragraph and we're going to say um, these words said by Tim Berners oops Lee inspire me and actually I really I hope you can find something that you really do think is inspirational um, and this is where we're going to add a new tag we've not used before it's called block quote um, I'm going to make up something Tim said because I don't know anything off the top of my head and I'm not going to take time to look it up but he may say he may have said something like the World Wide Web is a way to connect people all over the world and information. He probably would have said it a lot better than that uh, in many forms. Um, which I think will make a better world. And you know what? Let's use our M tag, a better world. So let's emphasize that. Need a little space in there. Okay. And I suppose let's put some quotes on it just because we should have quotes. Okay. And now that is the end of the paragraph. Oops, so that's not right. What did I just do? Okay, this is the end of the paragraph. Okay, let's save that and take a look at it. We're looking at the About page. Go back up here, take the About page. And one of the things that you notice, oh, you know what I didn't do? You notice how this content, which is part of the footer, is indented? Aha, uh -huh, why? Well, it's because I never closed that block quote. So I'm going to take this, copy, block quote ends right here, add the slash. Now I've got a closing block quote. Save that and let's go back and watch what happens here. Okay. So what block quote does is it indents the text that's within the block quote. Uh, semantically, or in terms of the meaning, it should be used to quote someone or to quote some material from a book. It should not be used simply to indent the text. There's better ways you can do that that make more sense semantically. So if you're going to use block quote, which is a good thing, use it properly, which is to quote text, quote a person or quote a section of a book. Um, okay, one other little thing in the chapter that I think we're going to add in there. Strong and M we already talked about earlier. Uh, there's a cite element that you can put in there. And in fact, I would like you to, I'll include that in the assignment on page 70, how to use cite. Uh, I'm not going to do it right now just because I want to wrap this up real quick. Uh, the one other thing I'm going to do is let's talk about using the BR tag, which is a break. Uh, the BR tag is used usually in something like poetry or possibly in a, um, a paragraph that contains a thing like an address where you want to have one line with the name of the company, one line with the street address, one line with the city and state. So I'm going to use it here in this paragraph to break up Tim Berner's quote as if it maybe were a little bit of a poem. Um, and this is the way, the proper way to use a BR tag, which is within a paragraph or within um, an element to simply start a new line. World Wide Web is a way to connect people. I'm going to put the B 
BR there, BR, and this is a self-closing tag, so use that little slash. And we don't need that space. And I'm going to just copy this and use it again. Connect people all over the world. I hope Tim Berners-Lee speaks better than I wrote his quote. And information in many forms. <laughs> Boy, this is really um, not worded very well. Okay, let's. So I put in uh, three block quotes, and now let's watch and see what those uh, three break tags and watch what they did. Connect people all over the world and information in many forms, which I think will make a better world. Okay, so that's the proper way to use a break tag, which is to break up short lines within a paragraph or even possibly in a headline. So occasionally you'll have a headline that has multiple words in it and you want to break it into several short lines rather than have one wrong, uh, one long line. That's the way, uh, that's the time to use a break tag. All right, so we've got our links, we've got our multiple pages, our mini website is working, we've got a block quote in here to quote Tim Berners-Lee, oh, not Tim Berners-Lee, um, you will have learned a little bit about Tim and quoted something that uh, you find inspirational. And I think then for this week, that's about all there is. Please check the assignment specs real carefully. There may be other things that I've added to that that are not in this tutorial. But in this tutorial are all the techniques that you're going to use um, to finish this week's assignment.